Vampires? Mortals. Men loyal to Alexander Corvinus. The father of us all. Alexander Corvinus was a Hungarian nobleman and warlord who came to power during the 5th century. His village would be ravaged by an unknown plague. Alexander was the only survivor due to a rare genetic mutation. His body's immune system was able to adapt the virus, causing him to become the first of the immortals. He later had three sons with his wife Helena. She would have Marcus, William, and a third unnamed son. Marcus and William inherited the gene in its active state, making them the next generation of immortals. And while the third unnamed son carried the gene, it wasn't active and he apparently lived and died a normal life. William would later be bitten by a rabid wolf as the twin brothers were out riding one night. After being bitten, the Corvinus mutation he carried mutated once again in reaction to the bite and he began a slow and painful metamorphosis and became the first werewolf and forebearer to the lichens. Unable to ever take human form again, William would become an uncontrollable raging monster whose bite passed on his wolf mutation. He would go on to spread the infectious virus, making werewolves of all his victims. The earliest werewolves, just as William, could never take human form again. His twin brother Marcus would later be bitten by a bat. Although initially going through no major physical changes, he would become the first true vampire. Marcus saw the threat William now posed and wanted to eliminate his twin brother's offspring and bring William back to his side. However, he couldn't do it alone. Marcus sought out a dying warlord named Victor and made him an offer he could not refuse. Immortality in exchange for Victor's military might. He turned Victor and Amelia, who would be the eldest and most powerful of the vampires other than Marcus himself. Victor then turned his army who would become the first of the Death Dealers. Victor would form the first coven and establish rules for the survival of the species. Together they would capture William, but Victor wanted him imprisoned for all time. Marcus also had an insurance policy with Victor. Being the first vampire, he told Victor that if he died, so would all other vampires. It's implied later by Selene, a death dealer turned by Victor and the main character of the Underworld series, that Alexander Corvinus could have defeated his sons, being the oldest and most powerful of the immortals. However, he refused to kill his own sons, regardless of the cost, choosing instead to take different names throughout the centuries to conceal the underworld war between vampires and lichens by cleaning up the mess. Selene then met Michael Corvin, a descendant of the third unnamed son of Alexander Corvinus. Michael carried the pure form of the Corvinus strain and was bitten by both Selene and Lucian, the leader of the modern Lycans. This activated the strain and he became the first vampire Lycan hybrid. As Alexander let his son Marcus kill him, he then let Selene drink from his own blood, giving her the original pure strain that he carried, which gave her the power of a vampire elder and the ability to withstand sunlight. And with this, she was then able to defeat Marcus while Michael killed William after being released from his hidden prison after centuries of exile. And that is the basic lore and origin story for the Underworld series. And I really enjoy these types of medieval, fantasy, dark, gothic type of stories. So let me know in the comments below if you like this type of video. And if you do, what other type of videos like this would you like to see? As usual, thank you for all the support, especially to you guys on Patreon. And a huge shout out to my executive Patreon Smokescreen producers. And if you dig what I do here, please give these videos a like, comment, and a share. And of course, be sure to subscribe to get everything and click that notification bell so you're notified when I drop a new video. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.